So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So the graph we have has an x-axis and a y-axis. Looks like we have some points here, which I'll just use red to highlight or to point out to us. None of these points do we know the exact value of by looking at the graph. We can estimate, right, like this is probably somewhere around 10 for the x-axis, and this is probably somewhere around 50, um, but I don't know. I don't know for certain, um, but I do know that it does hit the origin here, right? So we do have a 0, comma 0. So the information here says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y, a line of best fit is also shown. So that's interesting because the points actually go through the line and that's not always the case for a line of best fit. Sometimes points are above or below or a combination of the two, but all three of our points or four of our points in this line are actually on the line of best fit. The question says, what is an equation for the line of best fit, right? So anytime I see equation for the line, I am thinking, so literally that wording, right, equation for the line, I am thinking y equals mx plus b. I know that my, y, so b, first of all, before I go get ahead of myself, b represents your y-intercept. So where does the graph cross the y-axis? And m is representative of your slope, right, which is basically how do I get from one point to another in a rise over run fashion. So the easiest thing to find here is the y-intercept because we know that it goes through the origin, right? It touches the y-axis at zero. So then my equation should really be y equals mx, right? There is no b. So with that being said, I can cross out choices c and d because both of these have a b value. Like it came first in front of the x term instead of after the x term, but these are both b values, right? Like the m in this case is one since there's not a number there. The m down here is also 1, since there's not a number there. So these are technically b values. And we know we should not have a b value. That's why I crossed out c and d. So what is m? Is it 0.2 over 1, or is it 4.9 over 1? So looking back at the graph, I'm going to just estimate. I'm going to just do the best I can, right? So I'm going to say, hey, here I'm starting off at 0. Um, looks like I'm rising up. I don't know. Does that look like maybe it is... 25, I'm probably off. Maybe it looks like it's closer to 30. But um, hmm, maybe I should try to be. Which one of these points looks like I can estimate the best from? This one looks like it's right in the middle to me. So I'm going to say that that is 90 for the y-axis. And this also kind of looks like right in the middle. So I'm going to say that that is 18 for the x-axis. So if I'm going from 0, 0 up to 90, so that means my rise would be 90 and my run would be 18. So my slope would be 90 over 18. 90 divided by 18 is definitely not 0 0.2, so A is gone. Um, if I do the math on this, 18 into 90, even without doing the math, right, it has to be choice B, right? I think 18 times... I don't have my calculator with me today. 18 times 5 is 90. Yeah, so I would get 5 here. So 4.9, you know, I'm happy with that because, again, I estimated this 90 and 18. So the ch answer choice here that's best is choice B.